77. On the left side is our Navy target aircraft. They all perform a little bit different mission, but all focused on the same thing. It's readiness of the defense of our nation. Today, the parts are built in California. They're shipped here. We integrate, assemble, test, crate, and deliver from here. The final product comes out. But the reason is we just signed a lease in November. We just moved into the facility, and we decided we'll, we'll start with integration, finalize the aircraft here, and ship them. But throughout the rest of this year, what you'll see is our autoclaves will come in, the rest of our machines will come in, and we'll actually manufacture all the small parts. Most, most aircraft, most vehicles are final assembled in one location with parts shipped in from everywhere else for the most part all the parts for the fire jet will be built here in this facility by the end of this calendar year so far we've I think we've manufactured six so far so a little more than one a month but we'll be ramping that production capability up to many many as many as uh, 350 per year in the short term it's great to uh, great to be here as a, as a huge aviation enthusiast I can't think of a better place to, to uh, spend a day is to, uh, to recognize a great company it's manufacturing right here in Oklahoma. And, uh, to do from composites to everything right here in Oklahoma is just fantastic. Our innovation of what you're doing, our passion for aerospace here in the state, uh, partnered with our incredibly low uh, rates for electricity and for energy, uh, our uh, value of homes and the uh, cost of living that's here in the state, uh, and great teams of folks that all of us love to be able to jump in and work. We love to be able to work, to be able to fix it, to be able to find what we can do to be able to help the nation as a whole. Uh, that's why so many veterans serve all over the world and then they come back here to retire. These high-tech innovations and that require high-tech jobs that are going to lead us into the future. Today we employ about 20 in Oklahoma, and that will ramp up to between 350 and 550 over the next three to five years. We're very fortunate here. We have 101,000 square feet that we signed a lease on. That's the, the space that we occupy today. There are adjoining spaces of 100,000 and 200,000 square feet that as we grow we can move into and we have the opportunity to select those spaces. So as our production requirements go up, as our production contracts increase, we expect to need that space and we look forward to it. When you build the airplane, obviously the airplane structure has to be tested. So what you'll see soon is there's a fixture that the aircraft actually is deflected in and loaded to several G's to represent more than what it'll actually see in operation. That test capability will be here. All of the electronic test capability will be here. So you can run the system through six degree of freedom simulation and all of the electrical inputs and outputs, the RF inputs and outputs will all be tested in this facility to ensure the aircraft is ready for operation.